China drought causes Jiang Te to dry up, sparking shortages of hydropower. A record-breaking drought has caused some river in China, including parts of Jiang Te, to dry up, affecting hydropower, halting shipping, and forcing major companies to suspend operation. A nationwide drought alert was issued on Friday as a long-running and severe heat wave in China's heavily polluted southwest was forecast to continue well into September. The loss of water flow to China's extensive hydropower system has sparked a grave situation in Sichuan, which get more than 80 percent of its energy from hydropower. On Sunday, the provincial government declared it was the highest warning level of particular serve, with water flow to Sichuan hydropower reservoir dropping by half. The demand for electricity has increased by 25 percent this summer. Local media reported. The reduction in hydropower has also reportedly affected downstream population, including Chongqing City and Hubei Province. Last week, Sichuan suspended or limited power supply to thousands of factories and rationed public electricity usage due to the shortage. Toyota, Foxconn, and Tesla are among companies reported to have temporarily suspended operation at some plants over the last fortnights. On Sunday, the South China Morning Post reported plans to restart production this week had been postponed. The Yangtze is the world's third largest river, providing drinking water to more than 400 million Chinese people, and is the most vital waterway to China's economy. It is also crucial to the global supply chain, but this summer it has reached record low water level. With entire section and dozens of tributaries drying up, water flows on the Jiangtai main trunk is more than 50 percent below the average of the last five years. Shipping routes in the middle and lower section have to also close, the SCMP reported. Across the affected regions of China, authorities are rushing to ensure water and power supply as the regions approach harvest seasons for water-intensive crops. Such as rice and soil. On Sunday, authorities discharged 980 meters cubic meters of water from reservoir in an effort to replenish lower level of the river. State media said, the drought has affected at least 2.46 million people and 2.2 million hectares of agriculture land in Sichuan, Hebei, Wuhan, Yangshi, Anhui, and Chongqing. More than 780,000 people have needed direct government support because of the drought, according to China's Ministry of Emergency Management. Drinking water has been trucked into areas where residential supplies have completely dried up. High temperatures in July alone caused direct economic losses of 2.73 billion yuan, affecting 5.5 million people. The emergency ministry said last week, around the world, major rivers are drying up as record-breaking heat wave take a devastating toll, including the Rhine and the Loire in Europe and the Colorado River in the U.S. Bernice Lee, chair of the advisory board in the Chapman House Sustainability Accelerator in London, said societies, including China, have remained unprepared and underprepared for high impact. Low probability event like extreme droughts and heat wave. Looking to the future, as the frequency of extreme weather events looks set to grow, the future could be even more bleak. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.